What's going on everybody? Today I want to take uh, you through a little step-by-step -step setting up your 16iZ from Futaba for your F05. First thing we're going to do is go under model select, create a new model. We will rename that model. F05. Next thing we're going to do is go into system type. Select SFHSS as your protocol. That's what this helicopter operates on. And we'll go into linkage menu again. We'll go to servo reverse. You want to make sure throttle is not reversed. You want to make sure it is normal. If it's reversed, this thing's going to spool up as soon as you arm it. We'll go under throttle curves here. And you can see this line here. We've got a it in hover mode, so we're going to go to page three and turn it off. We're going to do the same thing for pitch curve. Normal mode. We're just going to leave a linear and then idle up one. I'm going to put it 70%. What I like to do is go here to point, change it to an exponential curve, go to rate, move it to zero for rate A, rate B, same thing. And then I take the offset to 70%. do the same thing for idle up two and the offset will go 80% on this it's up to you but that's what I'm gonna put mine at to start so there you have it idle up one two normal now let's do throttle hold same thing do an exponential curve and then offset we're gonna take that to negative 100 so there's normal and there's your throttle hold all right next we'll set up the gyro this helicopter does have stability mode built in, um, so we'll go to gyro. If you want that to be active in normal mode, you're going to take uh, ABS, turn it to normal, turn this down to 50, and then for idle up 1, for 3D, obviously you want it at 0, same for idle up 2. Now that we've got the model set up on our radio, it's time to bind this thing. So we're going to turn the radio off here. Now on this helicopter, you've got a tiny little switch in here, right here. You're going to press that until these LED lights go off. We'll plug the helicopter in. We're going to press it. Lights are off. We're going to power up the radio. And now it's bound. Everything's working correctly. Forward elevator, back, left aileron, right aileron. Another cool little feature this helicopter has, um, we wanna set our, uh, make sure your swash plate is level. So if you click this button again four times, now it's at zero. And what I like to do is turn the blades here, kinda put them together here. See if you move elevator up or back, it raises servo, left or right, same thing. And then rudder controls your last servo. Put the blade grips parallel with the boom, put it next to each other, just make adjustments till it's, they're about dead even. And you're set to go. Once you have your swash leveled to the best of your ability, you just press this button again one time and it will take it out of there. Another thing you might want to do is Check your ranges, positive and negative pitch, and make sure they're as even as they can be. And if you want to get a ruler or something and kind of just measure it, and then you can adjust your endpoints in the radio. Cool, that's it. You're ready to fly.